I'm Scott Strickhardt. So Yakuza got its start in 2005 when it released for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Yakuza is a story about a Japanese criminal organization, of course, but it focuses heavily on one particular main character, uh, Kazuma Kiryu. So Yakuza 0 is a prequel to the entire Yakuza series. It takes place in Japan of 1988 during the bubble economy. Uh, everyone in Japan was pretty rich at the time. There's cash flowing through everyone's hands and it's just generally a great time to be alive. The game switches between two protagonists. Uh, you have Kazuma Kiryu and you have Goro Majima. Every two chapters you'll be switching between the two characters. Their plots are separate of course, but as you'll slowly start to see, they do kind of intertwine in ways that make it a really interesting and compelling story. Kazuma Kiryu is our protagonist of the series and he's only 20 years old at this point. He's been freshly inducted into the Dojima family, uh, following in the footsteps of his father-like figure, uh, Shintaro Kazama. He doesn't fully yet understand what it means to be Yakuza, and he's gonna find out the hard way, uh, kind of what that comes to mean. Goro Majima is our secondary protagonist. He is 24 years old at this point, and he's been exiled from the Yakuza. He defied a direct order from his Yakuza bosses and paid a pretty heavy toll for that. Majima is now kind of tasked with running this cabaret and making money for this man named Sagawa. Majima and in exchange uh, for making a certain amount of money, he will be admitted back into the Tojo clan, which is uh, where Majima wants to be. Uh, however, Majima's making this look a little bit too easy. He's earning money kind of hand over fist, and as a result, uh, his handler, Sagawa, tasks him with something a little bit harder. So we'll be playing as these two different characters, uh, Majima and Kiryu, and Kiryu, uh, by, by contrast to Majima, is a completely different man. Uh, Kiryu is kind of stoic and reserved, um, kind of sticks to himself more, he's a bit of a lone wolf. Whereas Majima is this super kind of sarcastic, business savvy kind of guy. And it's a weird place for him because our fans, or fans of the Yakuza series, have only really known Yaku uh, Majima as this kind of crazy, almost chaotic guy. And this is all happening before he becomes that. <laughs> どうや。神様からのお恵みは。ありがとうございます。私はこの先を一度浴びるように飲んでみたかったのですが。This uh, is really only the beginning of their stories and it's uh, in terms of the entire Yakuza series, this has never really been a better time to jump into the franchise. You get to see these characters kind of become legendary figures in the uh, storyline of the overall kind of Yakuza series and it's a, just generally a really cool story. It's a really cool place to see them uh, become what they're going to become, and uh, you're going to like it. Kagatte kun no antara no kattera ga, kochi mo enryo na kutte dasasemi.